Hi friends, this is Dr. Thrifter and I have a third tile to share with you today. I don't know what this bag contains because this would have been stuff that I would have thrifted over the weekend. We'll get right on to it. I sell on eBay and on Poshmark. I've been decided, I decided to pick up some bras because I wasn't finding enough items to list a day. I want to be able to list quite a few items a day, um, at least 15. And to find the quicker sell through rate and sells for more money, it was kind of getting a little hard to find enough. I decided to pick up some bras because if I sell them for cheaper, that's fine. Because they're pretty easy to list. They're extremely easy to uh, store. Anyhow, this, I don't know how great this bra will be. It's a Chantel. And I'm um, not familiar with that brand. I got it for a dollar. But I thought I'd give it a try because... That way of having more stuff to list. This is a Carhartt, and Carhartt's been pretty popular lately. And this is a, a quarter zip. It says force on it. This is probably a men's and uh, 2XL. And I didn't pay up for that either. It's a blue tag. I must have got that for a dollar. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank God, because God, thank you. That is a really great find for a dollar. Uh, this is a Land's End, and the reason I picked this up, I pick up very few Land's End pieces. But this is a 22W plus size, and it is the non-iron. Non-iron shirts can be kind of popular with some brands. That's the only reason I picked it up. But the majority of all this, probably all of this, um, I got these items for a dollar. Um... This is a really cool print. <clears throat> I have no idea what that says. <laughs> I need to get some glasses here. Allison Andrews 3X. Not familiar with that brand, but the fact that it's 3X, even though it's summer and this is a sweater, this would be nice for like on the beach, on the evenings or at night. Um, I went ahead and got it because it was plus size. If it was a small size, I probably would, I would not have unless I would have checked comps or something. Very particular on what I'm going to pick up with Talbots or Chico's. But this is a Chico's 3. And the reason I picked this up is because sometimes semi-sheer, for some reason, will sell. And this is a semi-sheer long sleeve button. And, um, you know, it's probably not going to sell that quickly. The sell through rate's probably terrible, but um, hopefully it'll sell. <laughs> a lot of these are going to be bread and butter. Um, I listed some really neat items uh, yesterday. At another Sims top. Um, you know, I got it photographed. I got to finish that listings and uh, some other ones, but I didn't, you know, it's not on one of the thrift hauls. This is a Talbot's, but it's a 2XP. I know, petite, but still. Because it's plus size is the reason I got it. And this actually is an open front Kernigan. And one thing I think about Kernigans is that, of course, if they're linen and things like that, that would be great for summer or even maybe a linen blend. But the fact with the um, the Kernigans is that, you know, even in the summertime, um, if you work in an office that has air conditioning or if you go out to dinner, you might want to take a Kernigan. Um, I mean, I wouldn't just go and pick up any carnigan, but you know what I mean? As far as, as, far as still picking some up with spring and summer, um, you know, coming up. And then during that time, you know, if they're a nice brand. This is another Talbot's 2X, and this is a button-up carnigan. And I find that um, with the plus size, carnigans do sell, you know. It is um, something that does move some. Um and when I say sell, of course, anything would sell. <laughs> it, you know, I mean, majority of these clothes would all sell if you sold them really cheap. It's, you know, the price point that you're looking for. I like to sell things between 15 and 20 and up. But this is a Liz Claiborne. I don't pick up a lot of Liz Claiborne. However, if you watched one of my recent thrift haul videos, I had a brand new with tags. And it was a chambray, almost like a denim. And it was a floral blue dress. And I think it might have been sleeveless or shirt sleeve. Maybe short sleeve and a buttoned um, shirt dress, I think, belted. It just sold. It went out in a bundle that I had on Poshmark. And uh, this is a, a 1X, but it's a blue. Only reason I got this is because it is a carnigan. This could still sit, though. Like I said, bread and butter items, basically, it looks like on these here. 
another Chico's and I got the Zenergy line. Seems like it kind of sells a little bit, but it is a Chico's three. I like to pick up only Chico's three. If I do pick them up, that would be an extra large, but it's an open front cardigan. And it's actually really soft. You know, not going to sell super fast. This, I don't know. This is new with tags, and that's how come I decided to get it. It's an 1820. I might not have got this, even though it's plus size, if it wouldn't have been new with tags. This is a uh, Ashley Stewart. It said it sold for $59.50. Well, that was the suggested uh, price. But what it is, it's a long sleeve, double breasted dress. And it's kind of like a knit kind of stretchy material, but being plus size. I mean, I haven't got that for sure for a dollar. This, I don't know. I was kind of surprised when I found this. They're skidoo, you know, snowmobile. I know we're getting out of the winter, but what they actually are is they're a pair of sweats. And I would just like cotton sweats. I wouldn't expect from that brand, you know, you're going to wear that on a snowmobile. I don't know. Maybe you would, but anyhow, it's just, that's what, but you know, on the tag, it says B R P. Huh? It's a two X L though. I don't know. I have to do some research on this because it has a skidoo tag. Anyhow. And, uh, I have no idea what the comps will be on this. This, this must have been my plus size bag. There's a lot of these are all plus size. You know, um, when I was searching, I was picking a bunch of plus size. And then, you know, when I checked out the cashier, they were pretty much together. Uh, Violet and Claire, just an all right brand in the plus size. It's a 1X. I got it because it's very kind of um, scarf print. You know, that's what you can kind of call those. And I don't know. That's probably going to sit for a while. I stopped picking up a lot of these when I was trying to get the uh, quicker sell for rate sells for more money. But I had to have some more items to list, you know. Coldwater Creek, the only reason I picked it up is because this is leather. It's a large and it's just a um, leather coat button up. And even if it's not a great brand, sometimes all leather will sell. It's not going to sell for a ton. They're going to have to pay for quite a bit for shipping because it's heavy. to go well you could do ground but i all the boxes i have mostly i might have some miscellaneous boxes and I'm, i should check on that because ground would be cheaper otherwise you know i use the priority boxes but sometimes priority priority can be cheaper or the same as ground it just depends on where it's shipping usually ground's going to be cheaper i don't know about this brand i have to look this up i don't even know Ebisu, a b s o l u but it said Paris on it, and it was silk. I can't remember if I tried to look it up at the store. But that one, I'll have to do some research. You got to watch it, though, because some things, even if it says Paris, I don't know if that's made, uh, where that was made. But even if it said it was made in France or Italy, when it's women's clothing, still look them up. Because sometimes they're duds. You know, they can be. And men's, too. But it seems like, you know, I see the, you see it, you know, it can be either way. I can't remember which one seemed more. The only reason I picked this up because it was super cute. Talbot's medium. Otherwise, I would not have picked this up at all. But look at cupcakes and their sequined. Isn't that adorable? This is super cute. I had to pick that up. Otherwise, like I said, I would not have. This is, uh, and I shouldn't have picked this up. I know I keep saying that, right? Michael Michael Kors is an extra large because this brand really sits. Now, if this is an extra large... It has to be women's, and hopefully it's not kids. If it's kids, I, I won't even list it. But Michael Kors is a hard brand to sell. You know, plus size, sometimes you can sell. I thought I'd try this, and this is a real gamble. Um, there's bears on here. They're kind of like polar bears. And sometimes when you get animal-specific, you know, prints and things like that, sometimes it'll sell even if it's not... The best brand or whatever. This is a Talbot's, but it's a petite medium. That's another thing I used to kind of avoid. But this shirt is like really great condition. It's 
got a few more here. I think I had this already listed, and I should have probably left this at the thrift store. It's a cabbie, and it is a newer style cabbie, but it's just like a wrap. I think I already have one just like it listed. Uh, it's frustrating because <laughs> I'd like to pick up just all of the quicker sulfurate stuff, but just even even when I um you know pay up for the stuff, it's still finding enough of them. Lauren Ralph Lauren Active, and I got this because, and it's only a small, but it's actually a jacket, and I think it's purple. It's almost a little moto, but it's knit, and, you know, that was all. It's kind of heavy, but it's going to have to go priority, or, you know, or ground, over a pound anyways. Um, another Chico's 3, and it's just a knit. This one, should have left it there, but... I was bound and determined, I guess, to get inventory, huh? Uh, anyhow, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you'd like, you can subscribe. And if you could push the thumbs up button, I'd greatly appreciate that too. Many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.